<laughs> Hi everyone. My name is Yames Tony Finlayson and I'm here at the Door Community Auditorium doing a little residency today demonstrating how to make instruments and how to play instruments that are created from found objects and normal household items. Uh, I have brought a number of things with me here that we can make musical instruments out of. When I look at a coffee cup, you know, I like to think in terms of generalities and principles. You know, if you have a drum, it's basically like a barrel or a cylinder, and it has a skin. So when I see other types of cylinders, I always think, what kind of sound is that going to make? You know, it's like, wow, if this had a skin stretched on it, you could play it like a drum. And so I started thinking about, well, what would it be like if I could push the air into here and see if I could get some feedback and get some, some different sounds? So I'm going to try this. So I'm sort of tapping and capturing the air. This. Uh, plastic bucket here used to hold uh, protein powder and uh, I think it could be a drum. It's, it's uh, plastic, sometimes has the same qualities as wood. And if I put it a couple of tin cans here and uh, I always like to hear how they sound and sometimes the sounds will surprise you. I would think that the larger can would have a deeper sound. Let's see. I think this one is a little bit deeper. What other types? Of, ooh, let's see what uh, this little metal. Let's see what happens um, if I put some water. I have some water here. And uh, let's see, we'll put a little bit in here. These are mailing tubes. Packing tubes, mailing tubes, and uh, some of them have caps, some of them have tape, and they all give a different sound. I love to experiment with instruments and, you know, if you have an idea, give it a try. Frame drum is a drum that's stretched, a skin that's stretched over a frame. Frame drums are used all over the world by people in every continent. Sometimes they're square, sometimes they're circular, there are even triangular frame drums. and. Uh, Many, many years ago, I was taught by a, by a good friend of mine how to construct frame drums out of, um, out of wood strips that we would uh, nail together in, into a, a square frame, and then we would stretch packing tape over them. And you might think, like, packing tape? Like, how is that going to make a drum? Well, if you stretch the packing tape and, and create a, at least a double or a triple layer of tape, you've created a drum skin that vibrates and gives really good sound. And so over the years, I've just been experimenting with different frames, frames of all kinds. So if you have some old picture frames around or pick up a picture frame at the, at the, the St. Vincent's or Goodwill or anything like that, you can make a wonderful instrument. Some of them can be like this big. I've made them just little, little small frames. And, uh, and then I've made some that are much, much larger, like some of the, the picture frames behind me. Um, they can be beautiful. I made a drum out of a chair recently. I've made uh, drums out of, out of a table. You can do all kinds of things. So we're going to talk about a few different instruments, but I'd like to start with the frame drum. So this is a, um, a cabinet door 
very similar to picture frames. It's a good, nice, nice piece of wood, and uh, and I found it. Somebody had discarded it. I was driving down the road, and I I saw that. I said, "Oh, the kids will love that. I bet I can make a nice drum out of that." So I'm going to start doing doing that. So we use the packing tape, and uh, what I'm going to do is stretch the tape all the way around and we'll we'll call this I'm going north and south right all the way across and then I'm gonna turn it this way and then I'm gonna go east and west so when we're done we're gonna have a double layer of tape on this drum. So I'm gonna start here I'm gonna pull it tight. Sometimes you can hear that the tape you can hear when it's stretching tight. If it's not uh, if it's not tight, we're not going to get any sound. Some people like to make one strip, cut the tape, and then make another strip. There are different ways you can approach this. Now there's a little piece of, um, you know, a little part where the hinge was under. Sometimes I just leave it leave it on there. You might want to take it off. I just let go. Like I said. Frame drums are found all over the world, and people have been playing drums for thousands, thousands of years. A drum really is a frame or a receptacle with a skin stretched over. We call it a membranophone, an instrument with a membrane. And drums are just like people. I got skin stretched over my frame, so do you. I haven't met a drum that I don't like. Sometimes if it's if it's a little bit a little bit wobbly. I might just go around from here to here many, many times to strengthen that joint. And then go this way many, many times to strengthen all the joints. And so I'm reinforcing the frame before I start stretching the tape. So now we've got, we've got this all, you know, making sure that I don't have any gaps in the tape. If I do, I can go back and fix it. Now I'm going to go in this direction. and. Uh, and you never want to uh, start playing the drum before it's done because you can break it. So right now we're not really going to get any sound. Once I get another layer and then get my crisscross at the end, we'll be in good shape. So we went north and south. Now let's say we're going east and there's a little rubber stopper down here. I'm just going to tape right over it. I like, I like to use a table. Sometimes people will start to just make the drum on their lap. For me that doesn't work the best. I like to use a table so I have a good surface and when I'm holding the frame in place I make sure to not press on the skin. I press on the frame. So, any questions? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I've been doing this. I've been doing this about man over thirty years. I've been making drums. Uh, twenty five years. And I've been interested in music since I was a young. I used to love the Beatles. Then Santana. Then I graduated to Stevie Wonder, Bob Marley. Oh, I've got a lot of favorite artists. They're my teachers. It's a good idea um, to get some help sometimes when making a drum like this. I um, I've worked with kids before where they they use a whole roll of tape on a frame and it didn't sound very good at all because they didn't get it tight. So, it, you know, it's good to get some help from your older brothers 
and sisters, mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, just to help you get a, get a good time. I can tell that it's already starting to resonate. Just as I'm moving around, I can hear this thing is really going to sing. Now, um, different types of sticks we use. Sometimes you can you can find find a stick outside, and uh, like here's a here's a mallet for a different type of drum. That um, it's it's a it's a regular stick. And I've got um, rubber bands wrapped inside, and then it's dipped in rubber. But so that's just one type of stick. And uh, you know, sometimes I'll use a chopstick with a little wooden bead, you know, for smaller drums. But for this drum right here, I'm going to use a stick about like this. Now, that's a that's a decent sound. It's, it's nice. What I like to do before I finish any drum, I always do a crisscross all the way around. And I'm not sure why it works that way, but, but many years ago I discovered that a good sounding drum always sounds better when you put that crisscross. It sort of focalizes the energy and gives it a little more, a little more oomph. So sometimes I'll stand up. Right now I'll keep sitting. So, stretch from one corner to the other, and I'm just going to continue right around. I'll fold the tape down after even it up. It's really nice to be able to make a drum for little or no money and have a beautiful sounding instrument. Ah yes, it actually takes some of the the rough overtones out when I put that crisscross in. Let's hear what this sounds like. This is how I made a frame drum out of out of this old door frame and uh, I hope that you can you can make one too and then send your footage in and, and let us see how how your drums look. I think you'll have a lot of fun making a drum like this.